What's going on guys? My name is Kyle from MasculineEnergy.net. If you're wondering how no contact really works and what to do to implement it into your life so you can get the best results to get your ex back, well, you found the right video. Make sure you stick right to the end too for the, the very last most important point that you can do. And it's a very powerful technique so that you can use it to make your ex think about you more and more. How does no contact really work? Well, think about all the negative stuff that happened in your relationship, right? And I know you're thinking, well, like how, how is no contact gonna save my relationship? How does this all work? How does this all work out? All the negative stuff that happened in your relationship, all the fights, all the, the stuff that led to the breakup, that is something that she holds on to. At least if it's a repetitive thing. I've said that in previous videos before. If it's something that is repeating, some sort of negative view that she looks at you, right? This is why girls sometimes dump you for not taking out the trash. It's not the trash that you're not taking out. That's not the issue. The issue, she can't, tr she can't trust your masculine core. So when she, how no contact works really is by getting her to to think about you by getting her to reflect on the relationship and remember the good times. The fading effect bias will kick in. So during the course of the relationship, obviously a lot of negativity happened. That's the first step. That's where you have to also go back to and look at, that's what I could improve on. So at first she's gonna be very, very relieved. That's the first stage of no contact, relief. She's going to go, oh my God, I'm so happy to be away from him. And that's why you'll see her go out a lot with her friends or you'll see her just dolled up. You'll see her looking real good, especially on Instagram, social media, stuff like that. So what I want you guys to do is scratch out all her social media or at least maybe delete the apps off of your phone so it, it doesn't tempt you to be looking because it's only going to drive you crazy. It's going to drive you to the point where you're going to want to reach out and try to fix something. Again, it's it's relief. She just wants to be away from you. She's thinking about herself in the present moment. And she's thinking about, okay, this is what I'm going to be doing for me instead of thinking about you. A relationship is, again, two people coming to get together to share their experiences. So for so long, she feels in her mind that she put you first. She feels in her mind that maybe she could have put more time into herself and now is that time and that's what she's going to be thinking. That's what she's going to be doing and there's nothing you can do to actually shake her out of it. But again, the tip at the end of the video will be the best way to get her to jump onto that train of thought, so to speak, right? What Again, what causes breakups? Repetitive actions and also complacency insecurity, stuff like that. So when a guy gets complacent, AKA gets lazy, when he gets lazy and she notices that he's not living up to his full potential, she is going to break up with you. She's going to, first first before that, she will test you. 97% of guys don't understand how to pass tests because they don't even understand they're being tested in the first place. So when you get tested and fail those tests, she's being reinforced those negative things, like I just said, those are being reinforced into her mind that you're not that attractive guy that she thought you were. After all the testing and after all the negativity, she's going, okay, I don't want to be with this guy anymore. And then what women will normally do is they'll actually check out of the relationship before they dump you. And then they already have a replacement lined up because women these days do have a lot of male attention, especially through social media. So it's even harder for you guys to do no contact because doing no contact is supposed to help you separate that attachment, right? Most guys get super anxious because they feel so out of control, especially nice guys. Nice guys, all they want is to, nice guys really, really want control. The guys who have the biggest issue with this are nice guys because they they have such lack of control that they will actually go out of their way to do things they know won't work in order to feel in control of the situation that's going on with their ex-girlfriends or even in a relationship still. They'll do things that, you know, they'll bend over backwards and they'll, you know, they'll do bribes for sex. They'll do all kinds of stuff to feel validated in the relationship when all they had to do was hang back and let her come to him. That's what most relationships are like these days. 
So what you guys really need to start focusing on is your own purpose and your own actions and stuff that you do every single day. What is it that you wake up to do? What is it that you are on this planet to do? Why are you here? That is the biggest question to ask yourself and I am getting to that point soon, guys, I promise. So, and the reason why you wanna be thinking of these questions and, and attacking your life like this, first of all, it's attractive to women. Because like I said earlier, it's all about your potential. Right. If you're not living up to your potential, females know that females automatically understand, OK, he isn't man enough to like let me go and focus on his purpose like he's supposed to be. When women inherently find out that you aren't strong and that you need the relationship and you are potentially like a loser when it comes to the female department, they don't want to be with you. They would rather be with a guy that has options that has a lot of things going for him these men are the men that are alpha males so to speak they procreate they they have choices they have options this is where you guys need to be aiming for your lives that's why focusing on your mission and purpose is important because women want to be with a guy who they don't really care about being with right men being it's not that you don't care about her. It's not that you, you know, treat her like garbage or like shit or anything like that. What you have to understand is they, the females, have to know that you can let them go. I have a video uh, called How Let Them Go to Get Them Back. It will be in the playlist or, or linked in the description box below. And that's the whole idea of that video. Letting people go, letting relationships go, letting women go. Being able to let go of someone is how you get them back. And that is the big secret, guys. Okay. The big secret is, and how to implement that, I'll tell you that right at the end of the video. But that is the big secret. You have to be able to not care. You have to be able to say, you know what? I'm going to stand up for what I want. Because women usually try to friend zone you. And I'm going to go on my own. And that is how no contact really works. It works by getting the other person to think about you, think about the good times, again, the fading effect bias. And when they think about the good times, they're going to start forgetting the negative, which is an awesome thing for you. So going forward, cut all communication, right? Don't be bombarding her with messages. Don't be bombarding her with, with, with photos. And guys, please, please don't be posting crap on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook in order to get a reaction from her like a like or a comment because she knows we females aren't fucking stupid they know when you're trying to do that so if you want to get your power back again it's all about letting go so the guys who are the most successful getting their exes back or the guys who are and sorry and or the guys who are the most successful women in general are the guys that don't focus on relationships these guys focus on their mission, what they show up to do every single day. Me personally, I come to this office every day and create videos and I have a, a content team that I talk to and we're like, okay, this is the, these are the kind of YouTube videos we're going to make today. And then I go ahead and I'm like, I'm researching and I'm doing my thing. I don't need to work every single day. I don't even really need to work that hard every day. Right. But I, but I like it. I like what I do. I like showing up for this. And when my girlfriend calls me, I'm busy. So that's the whole point. Most of the guys that are coaching with me and most of the guys that need me getting to that last point, I promise guys, the guys that need me are the same guys that have no purpose. These are the guys that play video games all day. These are the guys that that don't try to, they have fixed mindsets. They don't try to go out and do new things. They don't try to talk to women. They don't try to, to, you know, it, you know, self-improve. These are guys are that, these are the guys that get complacent and then they get insecure because they're like, oh my God, my girlfriend left me, my girlfriend, this, my girlfriend, that, and they focus on the girl instead of always focusing on yourself and understanding that a woman is going to be one of the priorities, not the priority of your life. What should your priorities be? Your health and health and energy, it's number one. Your wealth should be number two. Personal development, which is an umbrella of all the other ones, should be number three, but it counts as sort of a side thing that every that includes everything else. Social circle, and then your woman. Why? Why is it like that? Because 
when you focus on all these other things, this is your world. This is your, your economy, so to speak of your name, whatever your name is. I'm Kyle, right? So my world includes all of those things. And then I, especially my businesses, right? And then my woman. And what happens when you have your life structured like that? Females fall right into place because I don't see my girlfriend all the time, which makes her miss me, which makes her think about me, which makes her wonder because women need to wonder about you. When they're wondering about you, when they're thinking about you, their attraction is going up. Attraction grows in space. So guys, do that. And the best way to implement all this stuff is to say, look, you know what? I th This breakup is probably the best thing that's going to be happening to me because I'm going to focus on myself. Focusing on myself is something that I never did for a really long time. And I'm going to do that now. And the second that she knows that, the second that she knows that you're like, going to end that focus and you show it to her through your actions that is when she's going to call you up and be like hey well, how's it going indirect direct approach then all you got to do guys is remember the perfect dating cycle which will be in my next video so the next video will be exactly how to make her basically stay in love with you forever so thank you guys for watching the no contact playlist and all that stuff the cards will all be shown but click the description box down below to watch the no contact playlist to watch all that stuff that you guys need to be educated on and how to get your ex back and whatever. And of course, if you want coaching with me, it's all down below. Uh, Telegram group should be all, all be down below. Everything should be down below. Subscribe, comment, all that. See you guys in the next video. Done.